another detail I'd like to explain to you about the blade mass pocket construction. The woven material, as you can see, start, um, comes from the front of the mast and back to this edge. This edge takes a curve that gets progressively narrower. And the X-ply that's worked into the luff is extending to the seam here behind the mast. This forms a two-ply layer on both sides. You can say four-ply in a way. And that four-ply runs all the way up from the tack to the head. And stretch resistance is sail profile, you can say, in my experience. So with that two-ply running behind the mast all the way up, it's uh, resisting the downhaul load and it begins shaping the sail right from the, right from the mast. It also provides a nice place to work in the zippers. So there's already a two-ply. And in fact, the construction has an additional layer on both sides of the mass pocket inside, a Dacron layer, that runs from, follows this shape up to the diagonal that goes um, from the mass pocket back into the body. There's also Kevlar's. Kevlar strips worked into the luff. You can see them, they're underneath the uh, marking cloth on these positions where the cams are. And these uh, Kevlar's wrap around the luff pocket and they prevent the luff from stretching, which is something that happens every time you rotate, the mass pocket is getting loaded. Boom! And that load eventually, every time you rotate, tends to elongate the materials unless the Kevlar strips are worked in, one, two, three, four, one at each cam, going all the way around the, the mass pocket. In addition, there's a Kevlar strip worked into the seam that joins the mass pocket sides, all the way from the bottom, of course not at the boom hole, and then all the way up to the top. And that Kevlar stretch resistance also helps define sail profile. So there's a number of things that, that are unique about the blade have been ever since it's been on the market in 2007.